If somebody has not been in before, I think they should expect to find this a very huge restaurant. We have a capacity of a thousand people. On a daily basis, we average over 3,000 people a day. The James Party of 10. 5,000 pounds of crabs weekly. Over 300 steaks on weekdays. 880 Mai Tais a day. That is very, very busy. Our most popular sellers is probably our king crab. I can remember back when we first opened, we couldn't even give it away for free. But they have learned and developed an insatiable taste for our king crab and our other crab dishes. Our menu is very varied. We have about 150 items on there, and uh, we have a huge selection of steaks. We are probably the busiest steakhouse in the entire Midwest. I hope that they're very satisfied and the food is fantastic and that they had a wonderful time with the service and the hospitality. So Melania, Bob Chin's is absolutely legendary. Tell us why you chose it. I chose Bob Chin's because it's great for any occasion and the seafood is the best seafood you're going to get anywhere in Chicago. The prices are fantastic and it's a lively atmosphere. They've got great drinks. It's an all-occasion restaurant with fantastic seafood and steak. But to say it's lively is, I mean, they are the fourth largest grossing restaurant in the country. They are. Sometimes there is a bit of a wait for a table, but that's fine because you can just go to the bar area and order a Mai Tai or a Hawaiian Passion, and you also get to keep the cup and take it, uh, <laughs> take it home. <laughs> so, Paul, <laughs> as the architect at the table, how would you describe the decor of Bob Chin's Crab House? Uh, I mean, it's basically Denny's on crack. I just felt really rushed and pressured, and um, the food was fine, but it, it just, I, I felt like, like I was cattle. I mean, you wait in one little line with little ropes, and then you go to another line with little ropes, and there's people eating right next to you while you're waiting in line, and there's kids running all over the place, and you know, when I'm paying $30 for a piece of fish, I want something that's more relaxing, and like I can feel... Uh, like I'm being catered to, taken care of. I mean, they do 3,000 customers a day on average. I mean, they have to have some sort of an organization system to be able to handle all those people. Well, that, that's the one thing you have to give them, is that it does run like clockwork. Mm -hmm. You get to your table, the server comes, you get your mm -hmm. food. And some people will say that's part of the experience. Right. Yeah, well, I, I tend to agree with Paul. I think, um, uh, I thought the atmosphere was um, average kind of here or there. Um, I did go there on a weekday lunch, so the cattle shoots well in effect. I didn't have to wait very long, but the service I thought was very good. In fact, I had a, so there was a gentleman I worked with and found out in the middle of the meal it was his birthday. And so I uh, quietly hailed the waitress and down. I said, do you do anything special for birthdays? And she said, well, absolutely. I can, you know, bring a slice of pie. And would you like me to sing? I said, that'd be great, you know, and I didn't expect that. And so she brought somebody else and they sang. So uh, I thought that the food was average, the, the whole atmosphere to Paul's point, you know, throughput, throughput, throughput. And, um, but I thought the service was very good. So. I mean, another statistic, they do, an entree leaves the kitchen every nine seconds. Yeah. I mean, you have to know what you're doing. I've inspected factories that are less efficient than <laughs> that. So. You don't go to Bob Chin's for a quiet evening. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to Bob Chin's for, for a fantastic, you know, bang out of, of a time. And, and that's, that's part of, you know, the charm of Bob Chin's is that it is lively. And there are kids there. And the crab's the best crab I've ever had in this city. So that is why we keep going back. And the seafood is... Uh, in my opinion, one of the freshest selections of seafood you're ever going to get. They actually place, when you walk in, the bill of lading of the seafood that landed fresh that, mo that morning. So what you're eating by lunch or dinner time was actually swimming in the ocean just a few hours yes, ago. Yes, I'd just be interested to know what, what you two ordered that uh, I'll go first led you to the belief that the food was okay. <laughs> well, it was, I had the soft shell crab and, and I had the choice of sort of fried or with a tempura. And the tempura came back really average. I mean, no flavor to it. Now, they did have some sauces, but um, it was a sandwich type of thing, and um, mm -hmm. and it just uh, I thought that it was it was just average, uh, and um, you know had some gumbo with it as well. But again, I thought that was fairly average too. I had macadamia nut crusted grouper, um, which was fine. I mean, the fish was obviously fresh, but the the crust on it was kind of soggy. My date who came, uh, they served. She had salmon Bob's way, I think, yes. and um, it was served on a pie plate, 
-hmm. and it was basically mm -hmm. just salty. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I can't knock the freshness of the fish. It was fresh, but I just did not the think it was Bob's wonderfully point. prepared. Melania, you're very uh, fond of their Alaskan king crab legs. In, in one phrase, they melt in your mouth, and it's, it's simply the best crab I've had. Uh, you and give I've, that little yellow gadget yes. that you can take home also. <laughs> yes, just take that one home. There's, yeah, there's you know, a good portion of your dinnerware that you can take with you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of the charm. No, I, I, I mean, the drinks there are, are fantastic. Yeah. Now, Melania, there is an actual Bob Chin behind the Bob Chin name, and he is quite the character, 82 years old, still going strong. Strong. Tell us about Bob. Just about every single time I've been to Bob Chin's, which is quite frequently during the year, you see him there. And it's nice to know that he's there because it is such a large restaurant. She's an amazing person. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> and I love your restaurant. <laughs> that's also what I like about Bob Chin's is it's not a chain crab house. It's something that you can go to that's independent, that is just a Chicago Chicago landmark, I would say. Interesting statistic about Bob Chin's, they go through five hundred pounds of garlic a week. And it smells I like had it. one pound when I was there, <laughs> I think so. Okay. I was, was going to say I had ten. <laughs> that was very yeah. good, but... I mean, yeah. you have to be a garlic lover, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's the place there, to go. You smell like garlic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You smell like garlic. I like garlic. I, 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 I will concede that you, if you don't like garlic, perhaps Bob Chin's <laughs> is not. But I'm sure there would still <laughs> be something on the, the bread, menu. You know. Well, Melania, Bob Chin's Crab House was your selection. Give us a summary. Great seafood, great atmosphere for a great price. All right. Paul? Um, it's fine for a good experience once, but you never have to go back a second time. All right. Chris? Uh, to Paul's point, Disneyland cattle shoots, uh, pretty fast service, uh, great, uh, great attention to service, food was average. All right. Well, you can crack some claws at Bob Chin's, 393 South Milwaukee Avenue in Wheeling, 847-520-3633, open for lunch and dinner every day of the week. Reservations are accepted, and the average dinner tab per person without those delicious Mai Tais, $45. Mm -hmm.